This year's Nobel Prize in Physics is awarded for contributions to our understanding of the evolution of the universe and Earth's place in the cosmos, with one half to James Peebles for theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology, and the other half jointly to Michel Maillard and Didier Quelot for the discovery of an exoplanet orbiting a solar-type star. At a certain time, 30, more than 13 billion years ago, the universe was very dense and hot, consisting of gas, of the elementary particles that built up atoms like protons, neutrons and electrons, and in particular lots of light particles, photons. And these photons were bouncing around bet in between all these electrons, but the universe was expanding and after, say, about uh, a few hundred thousand years, it was and so sparse, thin, that the photons could come out of the gas, were not tied to the ga gas any longer, and filled the full universe. And we still see this radiation as a weak radio radiation. James Peebles st started discussing in the 1960s how one could look for details in this radiation and from investigating those one could derive a number of properties of our universe like the expansion rate, the age of the universe and even more important perhaps the constituents, what the universe is made of. And it was found then that normal matter such as the matter we consist of and stars and galaxies consist of, is just about 5% of the total content. Uh, there is five times more of some unknown matter. It has gravity, but we don't know if it has anything more, but the gravity is important because this so-called dark matter was collecting the gas into galaxies and clusters and galaxies. So without this dark matter, the gravity from that, we wouldn't be here. Michel Maillard and Didier Quelos uh, discovered the first extrasolar planet, the first planet outside the solar system that was around a star called 51 Pegasus in the Pegasus constellation. They were looking for uh, companions to stars. They tried to tr trace these companions by looking at the motions of the stars when the stars and the companions were uh, um, going around the common center of gravity. That was the beginning. And after that, there was a huge surge of many discoveries of such extraso extrasolar planets, and now about 4,000 or even more such bodies are known. So these um, prize winners have opened up new eras, new possibilities for us and for you to make quite interesting discoveries. What is the dark matter? We don't know. What is dark energy? We don't know. Please help us in this and help us in finding more Earth-like planets, planets that might have life on them. If you could discover life on an Earth-like planet, you would have a fair chance to get another Nobel Prize.